Hey guys, Triptych here again. So it turns out that the 3.0a release of Triptych's mod was seriously borked because there was one file uh, I didn't get finished. And I have very quickly fixed that file. I've also fixed the diamond requirement. So now all of their ships should work as intended. So we may get to see, uh, I, I think Starmaster might have gone random this game, so I don't know if he got Borg. No, he didn't. Um, but, uh, we won't see any more, uh, unexpectedly cheap Borg ships coming into play. I also fixed the issue with the Dodecahedron relays, uh, thanks to Hicks for posting on the forums about that. So I was able to get that at the same time I fixed the other things. So, oh shoot, I believe they were saying top versus bottom alliances, so, uh, it's kind of hard to tell who's, uh, top and who's bottom here. I don't even remember the name of this map. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> um, oh, wait. I remember you now. Um, oh. Is it Nebula Stream? I really want to say Nebula Stream. Where, yeah, where one of the players has his expansion in the back, but the other one has it forward towards the enemy, which can really... Well, in the past, it really made a difference depending on what race you were. Because if you were someone like Federation or Romulan, I mean Federation or Dominion who got that, that extra repair yard and good turrets, like you could take your forward really easily. But if you were someone like Romulans and you got a forward base, you might be in trouble because it was really hard to defend it. Um, however, in Triptych's mod, I think I've made it a little bit more even with the fortifications. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got, like, top left versus bottom right here. So we have Nessie, who is Optimized Borg. We have Starmaster Prodigy, who is Muriel Romulans. In the bottom, we have Zap playing Martok Klingons. And Shadow playing Halev Romulans. So he has gone a super early, early research institute, which I would expect to see Laval's out of that. And his Star Yard's going into his forward expansion. At least historically, we always saw Laval's out of Research Institute first. Because that means as soon as this is done, you can get them going. But it may be different now. Um, yeah, so Nessie is discovering the joy of Borg. He's getting some small vinculums here. So that upgrade will cost him 400-200, and it will unlock a pair of small vinculums used for uh, scout cubes, dodecahedrons, and adapters. And currently, uh, dodecahedron relays do still take up a small vinculum. Um, I just fixed it the, so that they can build properly. And uh, so that they take them up once they're built. At least I'm pretty sure they take them up once they're built. Yeah, they should. If it's a bug, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'm making rapid changes right now. Um, so Starmaster Prodigy has gone Star Yard and as a Muriel, I'm really expecting to see a Warbird Yard come out down here. He is building a couple of Riens, um, which the new, war, the new Romulan balance definitely encourages getting some small ships along with your big ships. Um, by, by having this Star Yard be a requirement for the Warbird Yard, you can get some Riens, or if you're Muriel, you can get Shrikes, and you can get Generix if you want. Generix are a tough one because that torpedo damage is not that useful in the earlier game, and I'm I'm seriously considering giving them beam weapons instead, as it was previously. Um, however, for now, I've taken the Generix special ability, the Arterium lens, and I've just decreased the energy cost, so that they can use that more often, and that might make them that might help them be a little bit more effective against smaller ships. But in general, I guess your options for supplementing your larger ships is really just Rians or. Uh, Rians or Shrikes. And getting this mining here, so he is... He's going to have a couple Rians to defend, and then he'll have to be very careful to manage his resources, find a very good point for when he wants to transition. His opponent, Zap, seems to be going tech very quickly. He has his field yard with nothing on it, so there's a battle yard, a Kaduj, and he's getting an armory, so he's going to go for some Vorcha play again. And we might get to see some Vorcha versus... Uh, Sailors, maybe, which will be very interesting. Ooh, and there are some generics. Um, over here, Shadow is getting the Singularity Transmitter. I'm so happy. Because I did talk to them a little bit about how badass it is now. 
Um, it has the, oh wow, he has Talshir Academy and everything. So I wonder if he's going, Talshir Academy. I wonder if he's going advanced small ships, like Spectres and Centurions, or if he's gonna try to go for Warbird Yard with all that. I don't think he'd be able to though. So over here, uh, Nessie has not built any combat ships yet. Odd. Um, but he's expanding. Everybody's getting lots of resources. So yes, um, the Singularity Transmitter in Triptych's mod, its energy rechargeability is much more powerful. Um, I mean, well, a little bit more powerful. Um, it's its turret power is strategic range, so it can power turrets all the way out to that purple line you see in the top left and top right, like out around here. So it can it can power it can only power three turrets each, um, but it can power them in a very long range. And its special ability, the Singularity Implosion, will basically cause all of your nearby ships, every ship that it hits, will get an energy beacon thing on it that will cause them to overflow with special energy for like a minute. So in the later game, like things like Norexans that get extra energy, you know, to fire, or these guys, they get their sensor jammer over and over and over again. Like all of your ships will just overflow with power. Um, and it's actually a bit of an offensive ability as well. So here we have, he is, he is turtling up. He's getting his, um, prefab defense components, which makes these cost less supply. It also makes them build very quickly. Um, and of course, in Triptych's mod, I, I think I made these more expensive again, but in Triptych's mod, they do decommission for their full price. Um, uh, and he's starting that defense battery before he got the, the resource bonus. It would actually, if he'd gotten that first, it would actually build and finish faster and still cost less supply. Um, but that, that also takes up time on your yard, and with Allied Repair, he's not going to have very many ships. Here we see Starmaster Prodigy raiding, and he's going to kill that forward constructor effort, although he might get hit by some Griffins. Ah, oh, it feels so good to see some small Romulan play again. It's been a while. Here we see Ordnance Depot. Um, going for... Oh, going for Vudpa. And Vudpa, of course, have the the attacks that damage multiple enemies. They have the manual targeting, so if they're firing on a cloak on a ship and the ship cloaks, um, they'll continue to be able to see it for a little while. Uh, man, Star Master Prodigy, or er, man, uh, Shadow really investing into these turrets. He needs to get some combat ships though. Um, these are in their standard form, which means they will they have a very high chance to disable weapons on any target they shoot at and they have a little bit higher damage. The secondary variant, um, the, the projectile variant, which no longer costs a research to get, it deals less damage, but it will disable engines on the target, which is really deadly against some of these other enemy ships. And here we have, oh wow, oh wow, here we have an adaption adapter coming out from Nessie. It's a speedy ship, as you can see. I mean, it was always a fast ship, but where is he going with it? And that adaption, it, it requires allies to work because it uh, it will scan the ship and then it will put it will give extra torpedoes to itself and nearby allies. So one adapter, one adaption adapter by itself is not that good. It has to have allies. And if this is a okay, this is a double adaption. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, he's attacking. Um, and the damage on an adapter is already very high, but it doesn't have much defense. And here come the enemy attackers. There goes the scan. I don't know if the torpedo is, oh, there it goes. So you see, it'll shoot a couple torpedoes. But uh, yeah, you're surrounded by enemies here, dude. And you see, these are both Klingon medium range ships, so the scanner will cause it to shoot at both of them. But it's not that much damage. It's just a little bit of damage to supplement the rest of your fleet. Uh, sadly, like he he's fast, but yeah, you, you can't attack with one adapter. <laughs> um, however, he is going to get that vinculum slot back. So if he wanted to make more, it would be a little bit cheaper this time around. And you see, he's even forward mining here. He is really ecoing up. He must be wanting something big. 
he must be wanting a, a diamond or a cube or I mean the sphere is the biggest you can get without the transmission matrix so we'll see um, here shadow shadow is really turreting it up um, he has a singularity transmitters and this is how the the Romulans fortify in triptych's mod um, you know it cost them a bit of an initial investment especially to get that transmitter up but once they do they can be they can play a little bit like the Dominion with those perimeters where okay there's sensor jammer for the Griffins where you do not want to go near this and especially if they get the cloaking generator and these turrets all become invisible they can be a huge pain to deal with Starmaster Prodigy is still going with heavy generics. I wonder if he's planning to refit these. He is. He's got reends and generics coming out of two yards, and he has his upgrade facility. So now, um, the upgrade facility. Oh no! I need to fix the tooltip because it doesn't have disruptor bombardment anymore. Um, the upgrade facility is now cheaper. It only costs 400, 200. So if you get your refit tech through the upgrade facility, it will actually be cheaper than getting it through the Tal Shiar. However, the Tal Shiar is good for several things. It gives you your special abilities on your fancy refits. And it will unlock your Norexans. So, it's a, it's a fair trade-off. Okay, now we have... So many turrets. Going up, and an Imperial Yard. So, we're seeing a lot of Romulan fortification in this game. Um, here's another adapter, and there is a transmission matrix going down, so I think Nessie really does want those big board ships, but and he, he's doing okay. He's not getting raided um, because Shadow's playing so passively, so he might get some decent economy going, but I have made it hard to get these ships early just because Starmaster Prodigy min-maxes every single game to gr try to get big board ships. <laughs> like, doesn't mean it's easy. And who's shooting I heard Vutpa shooting somewhere. Oh, there they go. Oh. <laughs> and Starmaster Prodigy has his cloaking generator. So he can just cloak out these freighters. And in Triptych's mod, I made them cloak for a whole lot longer than they used to. Now that the Romulans have fortification, I might turn this back. I might make it so these can only cloak for like 15 seconds instead of 25 seconds or whatever they are now. Like. Because when I gave them that change, when I made these Romulan miners cloak for a super long time, it was because Romulans had crap fortifications. And now that they don't have crap fortifications anymore, um, I might go ahead and, and take that away from them. Make it so they can only cloak for a few seconds. Because honestly, being able to cloak your mining, especially against like the Klingons, the Klingons, their cloak detection is so bad. They have a really hard time of it. So that could be very hard for them to deal with. So let's see. He... Zap. Okay, he's getting the concussion missile launchers. This is one of my favorite abilities. Um, this is the Vutfa special ability that deals damage to all enemies in an area. Well, it deals damage to a lot of enemies. Um, kind of at random. Well, in Triptix, it, it was weak. So in Triptix mod, I just doubled the number of targets it hits. So it does a lot of area damage. And especially if you can stack a bunch of them. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, but he, he has Ordnance Depot, so he could go Negbars right now. Um, Starmaster Prodigy is using the Centurion refit, which I don't get to see a lot of. It is a focused on defense um, torpedo beam ship. And he has Riennes with phase plates. I wonder if he's getting Rien refits. No, but there we see we see some heavy decloaks here. Um, okay, and there's a single Spectre with its offensive wings. And I'm expecting to see maybe a decloak and attack here? We'll see. But we have... Okay. Starmaster Prodigy attacking Zap Mining. We see two adapters and a probe from Nessie. And he's getting his regeneration, so now these adapters are... Both full adaption adapters. I don't know if you can have the adaption of special attack twice, so it might not be that good to stack. Um, as you hear, there's not as much firepower as Spectre, but there's enough. And uh, our number of these did escape, but the defense value on these is high enough that the starbase damage is not going to hurt them very badly. 
Um, this will be a question of whether they can cloak out successfully, though. He might find himself in a world of hurt. Now, oh, oh, there's the upgrade going. And, and the Vutpa has not been modified to take longer to refit. It isn't an instant refit right now, although in the future it's going to take time. But, 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 if Zap refits these immediately and uses their special ability, it could be a bad time. Okay, no, no, he's, he's playing them the way they were intended. Um, he's taking them back. But, um, the call to arms upgrade now increases their defense value and gives them access to that glorious, um, mass seeking missiles ability which will any nearby or three nearby cloaked vessels will take hits that will disable their weapons which will cause them to decloak so it might not be early game but the klingon cloak detect is nothing to sneeze at like if you do actually use it and cloak detect them they will be weapon disabled um and he has to research that as well uh which yeah there he goes in Triptix Mod, I've made these researches a little bit less expensive, but man, they still take a lot of time. So now we see these adapters um, working with a, a growing number of Centurion and Spectre refits. Now, the Spectre refits, uh, the in this case, the Riens and the Spectre refits have lower defense than the Centurions, so the Centurions will be shot at last, which means they don't really tank for the fleet, but with their high defense, uh, they will be hard to kill. And now these, uh, let's see, I think you're limited to six, so he can refit all these. And in Triptix mod, they don't lose their regular concussion missile launchers when they do that refit. Uh, let's see what Shadow's fleet looks like. Shadow's fleet, he has four griffins. He's uh, starting to spam out some griffins now. He's getting a whole lot more technology, wow. Um, and he has these cloaked turrets. These deadly deadly cloaked turrets so shadow has really played fortification romulans which i think is so great because it's something we never saw before um but his fleet is still really really small for this late in the game and he's getting an upgrade facility i wonder what he's going for um he only has six griffins total but the turrets the turrets are so bad here they come That guy just getting wasted, and the damage on these things, like, I, like I said, I'll look at it, and if they be nerfed, they'll be nerfed. Um, there's a, oh, I think there was a, a detect ping of Starmasters detected the fleet. There go the, all of the missiles. We have phase plates up. Oh, let's see if we can track what's going on. There's a Polaron field from the Kaduj. It looks like it's dying. It's hard to tell who's getting shot at here. There's a Griffin that's escaping. There's a Vorcha taking a lot of damage, but I think it's going to get out. And now these adapters, uh, they have torpedoes, but the torpedoes have a very high miss chance against the Vukla, and he's leaving his ally. Starmaster probably taking so much damage without Zap there shooting, or without Nessie there shooting. And he's losing a lot of his fleet. And he's just gonna GG out? Aw, oh, come on, man. You gotta let them kill you some more so that I can watch you die. I mean, cough, cough. <laughs> so we got to see some uh, fortifications going down there. Um, hmm. Interesting round. Let's see what the players have to say. I don't think I'll be recording that part, though. So this is Triptych signing out.